Revelation 14, 6, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them who dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven, and the earth, and the sea, and the fountains of the water. What's up? This is Aaron Meeks from the TV series Soul Food, and I'm just here chilling, hanging out. And um, I just wanted to talk to the uh, youth about um, accepting God in their life. And, um, you know, I'm, I've accepted God. I've been baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, and that's in Acts 2.38. And, um, you know, I just, if you guys want to read that, you could. But, you know, I just want to talk to you guys about being young and being a Christian. It's okay to accept God in your life at a, a young age. It's, it's good because you have somebody that talk to and um, he never will turn his back on you and he'll always be there even when you pass away you know you could you'll be with him in heaven and uh, you know it's just a wonderful experience and um, just you know for the kids you know and whatever you want to do just keep God first and you know being baptized filled with the Holy Ghost nothing can go wrong because you it may seem like it's bad but it always end up on top no matter what so, you know, I just want to let the kids know that, you know, it's cool to accept God in your life, even though other people you hang with or people around you may not be there yet. But, um, you know, be, be an example for them. You know, set an example and let them see you doing it. And then, you know, encourage them to come to Christ too, you know. So, you know, just do that. Take care. And um, just keep God first in whatever you do and accept Him as your Lord Jesus. And, you know, um, just make sure you get baptized in Jesus' name, you know, because Jesus is the answer. Hi, I'm Chip Fields. Many of you may know me as Kim Fields' mom on The Facts of Life, but I'm also Kim Fields' mom in real life. And it's not easy being a single parent. But I find that all of my problems seem to disappear when I turn to Jesus. Some of your problems could disappear if you learn to turn to Jesus is the answer. It's a wonderful program, and it has with it a pastor who is dynamic and right on time with a lot of the information you may need to get you through these hard times. Why don't you watch Pastor Ernest Johnson and Jesus is the Answer? It's on nightly on your local cable station. Don't sit out there wondering, what shall I do? Join Pastor Johnson. Pray with him. Jesus is the answer. God bless you. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Ernest Johnson of Jesus is the Answer Ministries. Welcome to this very special edition of Jesus is the Answer. Today, we're going to focus on a motion picture produced by the ministry of Jesus is the Answer entitled Flossin. Now, the title of this motion picture is called Flossin. F-L-O-S-S-I-N. Now... Even though the movie's called Flossin and it doesn't sound like a Christian movie, it indeed is a Christian movie. It does not start out that way. It starts out like Boys in the Hood. 
It starts out like Minister Society, but it ends up with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The movie has done very well. It's in all the Hollywood video stores around America. So if you need a copy of it, you can go there to Hollywood Video, or you can order a copy online, or you can order directly from the ministry. So I want you to stay tuned, get your family, get your friends together, and we're going to share portions of the motion picture Flossin'. And it stars Tyrone Burton, who played TK on Parenthood, and actor Todd Bridges. And Todd Bridges and his brother James directed the piece. And so we're going to show you large clips of the motion picture and give you an opportunity to go online or to write and order your a uh, copy of the movie today. We have three ways that you can order the movie. Number one, you can go online to the website, amen, which, is, which, which will be on your screen throughout this broadcast. You can call and request a copy. If you have a credit card or you have an ATM debit card, you can order it right over the phone or you can write in and send your check. Amen for the amount of the motion picture and we will forward the information to you how you can order the movie Flossin. We, we, it is doing very well around the country and we just thank God for the ability to bring it here to our television audience. We want you to have your own personal copy of this motion picture and the proceeds from the film or the profits that we make will go to benefit the Todd Bridges Youth Foundation after school programs and board and care facilities for teenage boys and girls. Okay? So be a blessing today. Be a blessing. Sow your seed. Get your copy of Flossin and be blessed. Amen. So right now, we're going to start this great film today. And again, it's entitled Flossin. It's direct it's starring Tyrone Burton and uh, Todd Bridges, and it's directed by uh, uh, Todd and James Bridges and also just want to give you this one point it was one of Merlin Santana the guy that played Romeo on Steve Harvey is one of his last movie roles so let's go in and I introduce to you now Flawson hey, let's tell them how we're going to do this you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying we first will start off busting these movies then we busting this rap game you know what I'm saying we ain't got to put that down we ain't got to do that no more we go straight to G. Who said it's false fat? Can you the ride that you never had? And you know I'm all out of beat your dad. And take you in the dang straight beat. Donnie B. Feeling me, you gotta be. These flows running inside of me. It's obviously nowhere but the top is where I gotta be. It just came to me. A nigga got caught of me and broke. So how could you blame me? You see, ever since a little Z, I had big dreams and big fantasies. Cause I'm poor broke, but not a joke. I flipped this game like it was dope. Slip right in like a bar of soap or a bar of coat in between the scene though. But nevertheless, I'm still rolling the best. And I don't want to see you mad or feel you stressed. When you turn on your TV, you're not really your own. And the girl getting undressed. Now that's bad. Matter of fact, that's a shame. Uh, maybe it's game. I told you I was lost. Don't be mad when you see a girl riding my jacket. Baby, don't be mad. Cause we some problems. Yeah, we're lost. Yeah, we're Folks on a couple of houses out there. I used to pass through them all the time. Yeah, but we're not just passing through. We have to live there. That's a big difference. Oh, look. He gonna miss a little girlfriend. Ha! <laughs> yeah, big brother got jokes but no friends. So you wouldn't know nothing about this conversation. Hey, man. Everybody's glad your brother's leaving. He's a pain in the neck. Wait a minute. That is my half-sibling. How are you feeling, honey? I don't know. I really don't know. I know that this must be devastating for you and your family. You are 
the best neighbors that this community has ever had. Are you sure that you and your children wouldn't like to, to stay at my place for a while? <laughs> Melissa, thank you. Uh, but I uh, have my best friend out in Compton, and she said that me and the kids can stay with her for a while until we get on our feet, but it won't be long because I you know you can't keep a good woman down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to really miss you guys. Promise me that you will keep in touch and that you're not going to forget us little people. Oh, I can never forget you. Hey, dude, check it out. This year, my folks are going skiing, so I got a beach house all to myself. So your job is to get as many beautiful honeys as possible and invite them to our slamming, jamming beach barbecue. You think you can handle that? I think I can handle a little something something. You'd better, because I hear all the honeys in the hood are having sex. Really? I wish I were going. <laughs> we can trade places. Nah, I'm cool. But I do wish I were going with you but my mom and dad need me for protection. Yeah, I wish you were going too, man. This <laughs> is so gay. He's not invited. Hey, shut your mouth, Big Dad Kane. I remember when you used to sit right here and play with your dog. So afraid that I was going to step on you because you were so small. Yeah, I remember that. I was like made believe of how my wedding was going to be when I grow up and pretend to be Barbie doll. <laughs> well, you have a long time to go before you have to think about that. I know. I always pictured that I would have a beautiful life like you and Daddy had, Mom. I mean, what's going to happen now? You will have a beautiful life, and if it was in your father's control, he would be with us right now, but he's not. So, we must continue to live the vision and dream that he held for us. We have to live on, even if he's not here. But I miss him. I know you miss him. I know, I know, but... But he's smiling at you right now because I know you'd be so proud of his little girl. Do you think he can see us right now? I'm sure of it. We better get started on our new beginning. So why don't you just go on outside? Go outside with your brothers. Come on. Give me a kiss. Give me a smile. Okay. Kid. Mm. He paid just as much. Man. Man, Ardelia, I'm really gonna miss you. Are you gonna call me? I will if I have some time. Well, can I get a hug or something? Bye, Richard. Well, you know, make sure you call me, okay? It's hot. Call I, I me. Need to take my jacket off. Okay? I hope it's not hot like Ardelia, this. Ardelia, call me, okay? Call me, please. Please. Please call me. I'm really gonna miss her.
the game for change In the meantime, still in the range Got the smokes now, plug in the pain Feel it all It's a ball pickle, it's a ball pickle Ain't nobody gon' know how the game for change Ain't nobody gon' know how the game for Talking about. Oh, sweet home. Well, Bobby oh. and I have been friends since for you, one of us. Oh, I'm talking about. Oh, sweet home. As if we would even live here. I mean, we're from Bel Air. This is only a temporary living situation. Look, sister, you in my world now. Robert, will you fix your collar? Oh, I'm gonna put on that phony roll anymore. Sister, man, watch out, man. This is the hood. We gotta be real here. It's because we're in the hood doesn't mean we have to dress like a bunch of slob. Robert, you have to be more of an example to your little brother and sister. Yeah, Robert, be an example. Am I a brother's keeper? What? Rolling right. the price? Yes. But Pay your bills. Hey, wait a minute. Son. What? Okay. What is it? Do something. What? Oh. Mom. Wait a second. I have my clothes wait in there. Oh, my God. Go inside. Go inside. It's a mistake. I'll, 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 I'll take care of it. Now, go on. Go on. Go on. Mom, I'll get your things. Yeah, look over here. Let's go. Go inside. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Didn't Ma say her friend had a son our age? Yeah, but I think he goes to, like, public school or something. Yeah. He's probably gay just like you. You're just upset because you don't get to find beautiful ladies like I do. I mean, look around you, you guys. This place is already giving me the creeps. This place is so nasty. I bet you these people don't even know what a housekeeper even looks like. Carol, look at you. Oh. <laughs> look at the kids. Oh, you have grown into quite a young man. Last time I saw you, you were 10 years old. Mm. That's right. <laughs> I better recognize. Yeah, well, she probably wasn't that sure because you, you still act like you're 10. <laughs> Oh, and you, you are just as pretty as you can be, girl. I know you left some broken hearts in Bel Air. Yes, yeah, so well, the boys must go on with their lives. Yeah, right. I don't know about no broken hearts. But I know she did break a lot of mirrors. Well, at least I can spell it. I can too. I-T. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dumb. Yeah, that's what you thought. <laughs> no, no, he had And don't you look like your daddy. Hi. Hi. You better give your Aunt Bobby some sugar. Hey, wait a second. You <laughs> wrinkle my new shirt? I got an iron, honey. <laughs> Me and your mama was knocked up around the same time. I think you two boys are a few weeks apart. Knocked around? Men hitting women? Daddy hit you? <laughs> when you get a little older, I explain what they're talking about. You're a little too young to understand that kind of hit. <laughs> Whatever. How you know what they're talking about? I've read books. What kind of books you be reading? Man? As if he ever did. This is cousin Tony and Jermaine. Tony is Bobby's son, and Jermaine came to live with them after his mother died. Tony really helped me adjust to this new environment. As a matter of fact, he became my best friend. What's up, what's up? This is Chico Benjamin from UPN's Half and Half, and you are watching Jesus is the Answer with Pastor Ernest Johnson. If you just joined us, my name is uh, Pastor Ernest Johnson, and we are watching a film titled Flossin. And Flossin is about a rich family that loses everything and have to move back to the hood. But in the process of moving back to the hood, they find out who they really are. They move from a super superficial life of phoniness and fakeness, fakeness, and they come back to reality and find out who they are. And in the process of finding out who they are, they're able to find out who he is. And we're talking about Jesus. The movie is available all over the United States. It's available at video stores. You can pick up a copy or you can order your own personal copy from us right here online. And the uh, website is, is up. You can go to the website, put your credit card information, get you a copy of this movie. I assure you your whole family will be blessed. It's a great witnessing tool. It's a quality movie. It's not a piece of junk. Amen. It was produced high quality. Amen. And uh, it was our, it was the movie's the uh ministry's first film so it may not be you know like gone with the wind or one of those top top professional movies but guess what it has a very powerful message so 
pick up your telephone right now and you can call one of our operators and say, I want my own personal copy of the movie Flossin so that not only can I support Jesus is the Answer Ministries so that I can have a great witnessing tool for all of our young people because there's a lot of stars in this movie. A lot of urban stars are in this movie and trust me, it has a very powerful, powerful, powerful message, amen, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So get your copy today. All right, let's go back and let's look at some more of Flossin. T-minus seven and counting. Wick getting shorter and shorter. It's a slaughter. Heads being found in the water. See the Supply and demand. Okay, class. Who wants to tackle this? <laughs> now, everyone in class, don't raise your hands at once. Okay, Charles, go for it. Mr. Nichols is like a lover. You pack the supply, and women demand it. <laughs> <laughs> like cheese to rats. That's what we all do, tracks. Cheese to rats. That's all you, tracks. Chris, you need to shut up. You ain't fine. No! <laughs> okay, 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 settle, 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 class, settle. Come on, let's get serious now. Uh, having a daydream, Mr. Price? Huh? Oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Nichols. Were you talking to me? Yes, I was. Uh, would you like to answer the question? Well, supply and demand is the basic principle of economics. When the demand is high, he who has the supply makes the profit. Smart boy. <laughs> answer, Ernie, yeah. Answer, Ernie, yeah. All right. All right. Okay, settle, 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 okay? Very good, Mr. Price. Now, I'll come to you. If I'm the supplier and I have what you want, and I'm willing to sell it to anybody for the right price. <laughs> That's like Faye on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Faye, I got $5, babe. You need a little more than that. I got, I got 10. Hey, I got a lot of ticket. This is my pretty ass. It's me! Settle, settle, everyone settle. Boys and Barry to the principal's office Boys right now. You? Shut up, sir. You? No, no, no. Learn. Learn. Okay, class, let's learn now. Okay. Now, who can explain to the class the advantages and disadvantages of surplus? Mr. Price, please. <laughs> well, surplus happens when the supply outweighs the demand. Like, for instance, if a manufacturer spends too much money on a radio Walkman and no one buys them, then he will have a surplus, or what we like to call, quote-unquote, from the ghetto in this, the hood, Leftovers. What? Like I left you, right? I guess niggas say go for a joke, but y'all better check my bag. I don't ever need no crowd. Make people just burst and curse when they gauge what's loud. I sass on one of your town. You think it got nuts with the spoon when it turn around? Change up. Hey man, she's fine. I like Vanessa. Are you gonna eat that? Hey, hold your horse. Yeah. At my old school, we had our choice of the burgers or pizza every day. Man, here the choice is simple. Just learn to eat this mess of star. Ain't that bad once you get used to it. I wouldn't if I were you. You're not me. I don't have a death wish. Man, I swear, Vanessa Adams, man, she got a skull and crossbones tattooed on her body. Man, she's poison. A maw. Straight hoochie. But she's fine. Yeah, that I have to agree with. And yeah, they're just friends I can tell by her body language. Well, as far as I'm concerned, man, they happily married. Somebody needs to find out. Who's worthy? We're not all lucky enough to have a big time TV director for an old man. What am I impressed with? My retainer? Think she heard enough? That girl's like a human tech recorder. How long do you think it'll take her to notice me? Mm, if you're lucky, you probably be in college. Oh, so much for luck. What? Hey, man, what's your name? Uh, Anthony Michael Rainwright. I don't already know your name. Come on, the rich boy. Price, who said I was rich? Well, well, if it ain't my little play cousin, we just breaking him into the hood. 
Well, don't worry about that. Just know that nothing and nobody comes through the brook without me and my boys knowing about it. So what's your thing? I can tell by your gear you got some fat pockets. What you doing at my school? My family and I needed a change. <laughs> change? Nothing change around here. Nick, you feel like changing? Ah, uh, why would I do that? Nick, you feel like changing? <laughs> Never mind. Nick, you feel like changing? You don't need to change if you're keeping it real. I think I want to change seats. You sit down. I can see you like to get people's attention. Yeah, it wasn't necessary. <laughs> well, uh, you definitely got mine. Hey, that's my muffin. My bad. Holla at you. I can't wait, home slice. <laughs> Busters. So. Mm. So what? So you gonna tell me the story or what? About what? About your father. It seems like everybody knows but me. Why were you so dressed up yesterday? I don't know. I just felt like it. I mean, don't you ever get dressed up when you... Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Ernest Johnson inviting you to come to a miracle move of God this Sunday morning at the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. We're located at 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Come on out. If you need healing, you need deliverance, you need to be saved, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, I want to invite you to come on out to the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Hi, I'm Kim Fields. I play Tootie on the Facts of Life. You know, as young people, we're always searching for answers, and we tend to find them in the wrong places or in the wrong things. Well, here's the answer that I found is just great. Jesus is the answer. And you can watch a program called Jesus is the Answer nightly on your local cable station with a dynamic young preacher by the name of Ernest Johnson. So remember, that's Jesus is the Answer nightly on your local cable network. Praise the Lord. This is Bishop Ernest Johnson inviting you to come to a miracle move of God this Sunday morning at the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. We're located at 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Come on out if you need healing, you need deliverance, you need to be saved, you need to be baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. I want to invite you to come on out to the Jesus is the Answer Apostolic Church. 25100 South Normandy Avenue in Harbor City, California. Join us this this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. and Bible study is Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Come on out and we'll see you there. Are you ready? Yes. Just lift those hands. Are you ready? Yes, Jesus. 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 Yes,